practicing love scenes with mannequins takes safe sex to a whole new level. The things that happen behind the scenes may be bold, but they're not always beautiful. Certain characters on The Bold and the Beautiful have been a part of the show since 1987. Ridge Forrester, then played by Ron Moss, appears in the opening scene of the very first episode of B&B. But the only two original cast members are Catherine Kelly Lang and John McCook, who play Brooke Logan and Eric Forrester, respectively. When Lang appeared on CBS The Talk, they showed a clip of her doing a screen test for the soap, prompting her to reminisce. I credit John McCook for giving, getting me that part, honestly." During a 2019 appearance on The Sunday Project, Lang further revealed that she initially signed a four-year contract. She said, "...I had no idea this was going to happen. You know, it's still a hit in 100 countries." McCook has also been playing the role of the Forrester patriarch since the beginning. However, there was only a seven-year age gap between him and Moss, who played the role of his son. He told Soap Central that the solution was simple. They added gray to his hair. Suffice it to say, he's in it for the long haul. McCook told TV Guide that he always jokes to his wife, "...one day they'll call you from B&B &B and say he's dead, come get him. I want to be the really old guy on our show." When Bill and Lee Philip Bell created The Bold and the Beautiful as a sister soap opera for The Young and the Restless, they didn't realize how big it was going to become. Actor John McCook explained that several factors contributed to the runaway success of the show. He told the Sydney Morning Herald, "...when the show was new in 1987, it happened to coincide with the deregulation of television in quite a few places in Europe, and privately owned television companies were looking for new product. Most of these countries had never had a daily serial. That's what set us afire from the very beginning." In 2021, executive producer Brad Bell told TV Insider how B&B &B became such an international phenomenon. Having enjoyed initial success in Greece, the show soon found an abundance of fans in Italy, France, Belgium, Germany, and Holland. He said, "...we were amazed at the popularity of the show there. It was just well-received all over Europe and then Australia, India, and Africa. We kept on going. We were thrilled to find we had a global hit on our hands." The show is so universally loved that Guinness World Records confirmed it was the most popular soap opera in the world in 2010. The fashion industry has remained the backdrop for The Bold and the Beautiful for its entire run. As such, fashion shows have been held in exotic locations like Paris and Dubai. According to supervising producer Casey Kasperzik, when the cast went to Monte Carlo for a storyline, the drama was not only in front of the camera. All right, my wedding, your funeral. Speaking to TV Insider, the producer described a few crazy situations that went down during filming. For starters, the actor who was cast to play a chauffeur could not drive. Kasperzik said, "...you can see this guy driving around the set while we're trying to shoot. According to the producer, when an unexpected downpour happened during a beach scene, they went with it. Of course, some B&B &B couples have also wed in international locations. In 2017, Steffi Forrester, played by Jacqueline McInnes Wood, and Liam Spencer, played by Scott Clifton, tied the knot in Australia. Clifton told Australia's The Daily Telegraph, "...there is going to be a wedding, some drama, conflict, and a stunt, too, which is going to be exciting." Fans of The Young and the Restless and The Bold and the Beautiful know there are often crossover storylines. After all, the sister soap operas were both created by husband and wife team William J. Bell and Lee Philip Bell. Upon receiving the 2007 Lifetime Achievement Award from the Daytime Entertainment Emmy Awards, Lee revealed the inspiration behind her and William's soap operas. She explained to the Academy, "...Bill and I would talk about our ideas for a series that dealt with real-life issues and real-life families. We wanted to tell stories that made a difference." As the youngest soap opera debut in 1987, B&B &B had to compete with established daytime serials that had already had an audience. However, its ties to Y&R boosted its ratings significantly in the early 1990s. Head honcho Bradley Bell explained to TV Insider how they knew that the 30-minute Sudzer had made its mark. "...Going way back, I suppose it was the first Sheila crossover from The Young and the Restless in 1992. The ratings popped, bringing us to the number two spot. That elevated us in the ratings to a point that showed we were here to stay." Throughout the years, Brown's character, Sheila, Sheila Carter has returned for juicy storylines such as accidentally murdering her son in 2022. Many other Y&R and B&B characters such as Sally Spectra have jumped between the sister soaps, much to the delight of fans. The bold and the beautiful's glitzy fashion world is often portrayed by the clothing the characters wear. As Catherine Kelly Lang said in a behind-the-scenes interview, "...fashion is everything on the show because it's based around fashion." The actor also gave the press a tour of the B&B's wardrobe in 2014. The large, airy space is comprised of floor-to-ceiling rails and shoe racks, similar to that of a department store. Lang's character has her own section of clothing, shoes, and jewelry that would make any fashionista swoon. The daytime drama show had a complete 
complete fashion makeover in 2011. Executive producer Bradley Bell's wife, Colleen Bell, was the director of special projects at the time, and she took on the cast's wardrobe. Speaking to TV Guide, Colleen explained, B&B should be a benchmark for fashion. People should be tuning in, going, I can't wait to see what Hope wears today. I saw a need and knew I could fill it. We're overhauling the entire wardrobe department and integrating the clothes, hair, and makeup so that B&B is relevant and cool. After the pandemic, the series costume designer Glenda Maddox told Channel 24 that she was gearing up to showcase even more exaggerated looks. She insisted, You are going to see some real escapism fashion. There are few actors who can carry the same storyline for decades and still enthrall fans. The character Brooke Logan was once famously called, quote, S from the Valley by Stephanie Forrester due to her admittedly salacious love life. In 2022, the derogatory moniker continued with Logan referencing the insult during a moment of pained introspection. But it's not because he doesn't love me, it's because he doesn't trust me. The Bold and the Beautiful fans know that Brooke's romantic history makes for cringeworthy viewing. According to Soaps, she has worked her way through an entire family. That includes father, Eric Forrester, his eldest son, Ridge Forrester, second son, Thorn Forrester, and half-brother, Nick Marone. Standard soap fare, right? But then, Brooke went one step too far and also had a steamy affair with her son-in-law, Deacon Sharp, resulting in the birth of little Hope Logan. Nevertheless, Brooke Logan remains a fan favorite. In fact, to celebrate the show's 35th anniversary, the soap aired a standalone Brooke Logan special episode, dedicated to her and five of her most beloved past lovers. How's that for a tribute to her bedroom shenanigans? In 2017, the actor reminisced about her character to people and mused. She's learned from her past, she's made a lot of mistakes and become a different person because of them. People still loved Brooke during those havoc reeking years, but I like the fact that she's become the heroine. When COVID-19 shut down Hollywood in 2020, fans had to endure endless repeat episodes of their favorite soap. However, The Bold and the Beautiful took the plunge and became the first U.S. broadcast series to start shooting after the pandemic restrictions were sufficiently lifted. Deadline reported that the cast and crew resumed production in mid-June. After taking all the necessary precautions to ensure the safety of the cast and crew, the first post-shutdown episode aired July of 2020. Per TV Insider, head writer and executive producer Brad Bell revealed, We had a group come in to monitor all of our activities at TV City, where we've shot the show since day one. We went through every type of safety precaution and put everything in place. People wore shields. We limited close interactions. However, Bell felt that they would not have been able to pull off such an incredible feat without everyone's support, and he praised the positive attitudes of cast and crew members. Soap operas are synonymous with steamy love scenes and heated passion. That presented a challenge to the actors of The Bold and the Beautiful, who worked around COVID-19 restrictions during romantic scenes. Brad Bell told E.T. that they ensured safety by limiting filming to one or two actors per scene, alongside restructuring how characters interacted with each other. They brought out mannequins, amongst other tools, to keep actors' sight lines uniform. Bell explained to E.T. that they have the actors act while looking at something that's very close. So it brings their voice down brings their eyes to the right spot, and then when you edit both sides together, you've got a very intimate scene. Bell also shared that since actors couldn't stand close to each other, they found another way to shoot romantic scenes. They recruited the actors' significant others as stand-ins. Bell divulged, Once in a while, if you look closely, you'll see a sideburn is a little longer uh, <laughs> when they get in tight on that kiss. Hollywood veteran Denise Richards revealed that her husband obliged to the request and was filmed for just such an intimate scene. Richards shared, Otherwise, I have to have my love scene with a mannequin, which is fine, but I'd much rather my husband.